The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander and illustrated by Kadir Nelson. This is for the unforgettable, the swift and sweet ones who hurdled history and opened a world of possible. The ones who survived America by any means necessary. And the ones who didn't. This is for the undeniable, the ones who scored with chains on one hand and faith in the other. This is for the unflappable, the sophisticated ones who box adversity and tackle vision, who shine their light for the world to see and don't stop till the break of dawn. This is for the unafraid, the audacious ones who carried the red, white, and weary blues on the battlefield to save an imperfect union. The righteous ones marching who sang, we shall not be moved because black lives matter. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unlimited, unstoppable ones, the dreamers and doers who swim across the big sea of our imagination and show us the majestic shores of a promised land, the Wilma Rudolphs, the Muhammad Ali's, the Althea Gibsons, the Jesse Owenses, the Jordans and the LeBrons, the Serenas and the Cheryls, the Reese Whitleys, and the Undiscovered. This is for the unbelievable, the we real cool ones. This is for the unbending, the black as the night is beautiful ones. This is for the underdogs and the uncertain, the unspoken, but no longer untitled. This is for the undefeated. This is for you, and you, and you. This is for us. Afterward, I started writing this poem in 2008. That was the year my second daughter, Samaya, was born. And three months later, Barack Obama became the first African American president of the United States. This poem was my tribute to both. I wanted to establish from the very beginning that much of what I'm talking about in this poem, so much of American history has been forgotten, left out of the textbooks. And in that, to truly know who we are as a country, we have to accept and embrace all of our woes and wonders. So I wrote a poem because I wanted my daughters to know how we got to this historic moment, or as the famous Mahalia Jackson spiritual says, you know my soul, look back and wonder. How did I make it over? I wrote a poem about a black, black Olympians such as Jesse Owens and Wilma Rudolph, undermining the famous narrative of white superiority by racing to gold in front of the whole world, about Malcolm X urging blacks to fight for freedom, justice, and equality, no matter the method or the cost, about enslaved Africans pushing on with an unwavering fighting spirit of hope and faith. Faith that one day they would be free or that their children or their children's children would become the masters of their own destinies. About Langston Hughes and Zora Neale Hurston in the Harlem Renaissance. About cultural expression and liberation in the black arts movements. About Dr. King's acceptance speech for the 1964 Nobel Peace Prize. About a promised land without racial injustice, poverty, and war. About civil rights marchers chanting, we shall overcome. And demonstrating across the South. About Jack Johnson and Muhammad Ali boxing racial prejudice in and out of the ring. About black Civil War soldiers saving a union that refused to see them as equals. About Black Lives Matter. About Black Lives Matter. 
about Black Lives Matter. Because we are Americans. Because we are human beings. But mostly I wrote a poem to remind Samaya and her friends and family and all of you and to remind myself to never ever give up. Because as Maya Angelou wrote, we may encounter many defeats, but we must not be defeated. It may even be necessary to encounter the defeat so that we can know who we are, so that we can see, oh, that happened and I rose. I did not get knocked down flat in front. I did get knocked down flat in front of the whole world and I rose. Keep rising. Kwame Alexander, May 11th, 2018.